all right guys welcome to another video this is a windows 11 pc but i customized it to have the windows xp feel so look at the windows xp background if you're used to windows xp you know back in the early 2000s like 2009 all the way to like 2012 you would have gotten used to this already windows xp phased out uh windows phased out windows xp somewhere around 2014 they're about so you don't have windows xp in town anymore but if you want that nostalgic feeling of uh windows xp uh even when you're using a windows 11 uh stick around in this video i'll explain how you can do that uh, you can customize this to look uh like a windows xp right so to get started there are a couple of things you really need you're going to need three uh, specific software no uh, two specific software and then a wallpaper you're going to need open shell setup 4.4.194 i'll show you how to download that in a minute and you're going to need the retro bar 64 bit the retro, retro bar 64 bit controls this bottom task bar right then while the open shell setup controls the windows start menu feel and all of that I would have given you a third of uh, a third software but that is paid so this is supposed to be a free video so you're supposed to not be paying anything and then the last of all you're going to need the XP wallpaper right I'm going to show you where you can download the XP wallpaper just in a minute so I want you to stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you just how to set these up and then make your system look if you look at this now you can see that this window is the Windows 11 window right only that we overlaid this setup on top of that windows 11 to make it look uh windows xp ish right so you can at least you know fool your friends make your friends feel like you have something uh from like way back so i wish to stick around to the video and i'll be back give me a minute all right guys we're back so let me show you exactly how you can set things up so you see we're on the classic windows 10 uh you got the windows 10 taskbar and the explorer uh, window and then we have the classic windows 11 look and feel everything is all windows 11 right here uh so you need like those softwares like i said you need three of those uh first you need uh windows PowerShell. you can get it on github uh or better still just type windows PowerShell. just go to you know google and type what was that again uh open shell just go to open shell open shell just type open shell here All right uh, it's a github page so it's just directs you to this github page where you have this and when you get to this place you just scroll down under uh, okay so let's just do it so if you come here click on this it's going to open a new window it's going to take you to this side like here open shell and if you scroll down, you come under releases in this place, in this section over here. If you click on it, it's going to take you here, right, under releases. So if you scroll down, you'll see this one that says open shell setup 4.4.194.exe. So you download that. Then you go again back to YouTube, I mean, it's back to Google. Let's go back to Google. And then you will also download a software called Retrobar right select that retro bar it's also a github project so you're going to have to get to github so when you get to github uh again you scroll down under uh releases you click on this and then it's going to take you to this page and then you come down here and then download the ones that say 64 bit if your system is a 32 bit you download that then the last thing you're going to need is the classic wallpaper for the windows xp which is like the green grass and the sky so to do that, you go to this site here. It's called wallpaperhub.app, right? Wallpaperhub.app, like that. And then you just download this uh, photograph. So now that we have those three items, I basically just saved them in a folder here. I called it geek, right? So we have all of those three items there. So the first thing is you want to open the wallpaper like this. You want to open the wallpaper just give a minute to load you wallpaper like this and then you can just right click on the wallpaper and say set as the background so it sets that wallpaper as the background that's like the first step uh 
Now, the next step is to right click on the taskbar here and go to taskbar settings. Uh, when you hit that taskbar settings, it's going to load this page up. You go to under taskbar behaviors. And then because the Windows XP uh, taskbar always arranges the icons to the left. It doesn't do the center, right? I think the center thing came with uh, Windows 10 and then Windows 11 just kind of like followed that trajectory. So we need to change the taskbar to the left. And you have to do that before you install Retrobar and then install OpenShell. So you have to keep that in mind. So here is where you do that. You just click left and everything just goes to the left. And then the widgets will come to the right. So that's pretty much all you need to do. You have to do that. Don't forget, if you don't do that before you install the rest, you're going to have issues. It's not going to look pretty. Uh, for instance, if you click on the start menu, it's not going to start from the left. It's going to start from the center. So you have to keep that in mind. So you close this. Then you come back here. And then the first thing we want to install is retro bar. So the retro bar is going to give us that blue feel and then change the Windows button to the old classic Windows button. Now this happens differently on systems. So if you're using a Windows 10, you might be asked, required to install a .NET framework. If you're using an earlier model of a Windows 11, it might ask you to install a .NET framework. Just follow the steps as long as, but I do have all of those things installed, so I'm not going to do all of that process here because I just upgraded my system to like 24H, which is like the latest version of Windows 11, so I probably don't have that problem. But if you do, just follow the steps, pretty easy. And then once you do that, You'll go, so you click on that. If you don't have that problem, it's good to just change your taskbar to the standard uh, uh, Windows XP feel, and then you have all of that, right? Uh, you can right-click on the taskbar, for instance, and go to properties, and then start messing with a couple of things. First and foremost, if you're doing it for the first time, you might have this type of style, right? You can have the Windows 95 look. Uh, you might even have Vista if you want Vista. For those who know Vista, you can have the Vista look, but I just prefer Windows XP, right? Uh, let's look at Windows XP Classic. You're going to have this thingy, but I think the blue is really what sold, um, is really what sold it for um, a Windows. Then again, you can get the option to customize the, your tax bar to the left or click on here to the right or click on here to the bottom. Or then click on here and take it to the top if you know windows xp you'll know exactly what i just did right so but i think i prefer it to, at the bottom then if you go to the advanced tab you get the option to be able to say automatically start login so when you start from where you restart your system you're going to have it always there but if, if you get tired uh, the first problem you're going to have is that the because retro buy is not an app per se it's like a it's not a, a software, so if you install it, you're not going to find it in the control panel to be able to uninstall it. So it's not like really, it's like a portable app, if you know what I mean. So uh, if you want to get rid of it, but when time you're tired, just uncheck this box and then restart your system and then it'll all be gone. So in this case, because I want to keep it forever, I'm just going to say automatically restart login. So I click OK. Now, let's go to the next one, which is basically the last one. And that is OpenShell. Uh, what does OpenShell do? Well, if you click Start now, you're still going to get the ancient, like you're still going to get the uh, classic Windows 11 uh, Explorer uh, menu, right? But we want the old school Windows XP menu. So to get that, you're going to need OpenShell for that. So OpenShell is a standard application. You're going to have to uninstall it from Control Panel if you want to get rid of it. So the next. Just follow the steps. Next, uh, you don't want to read it. I don't have to. So next, uh, then install. So by the time it's done with the installation, right? Uh, it's going to ask you for this. Just say yes. Uh, by the time you're done with the installation, now you're going to get that Windows XP-ish feel, right? And then now, oh, well, it, it it really doesn't look like it right now. So uh, how we fix that is you then go to here and say Open Shell. Open shell menus and settings, right? So you click on that. Um, so it's going to load up. And then it's going to ask you for a couple of things. So I'll go back here uh, to like skin, right? Make it blue, Windows XP Luna. Uh, go to um, menu look. So vertical position, you want to set it at 16. 16. Uh, I've already done these settings before, so it's just basically there. And then the start button, sorry. 
and the menu style is basically what we need you have like three options for the menu style you have the classic style which would put the uh, options at the right and then the other ones at the left like tiny but I want the classic two column style so I click OK right and then now if I click on here I would have every of my icons looking pretty there's one last one I would have given you that would have helped you to customize all of these buttons over here you know these buttons still retain the windows uh, 10 11 look but I think as far as this video is concerned I don't want the video to be too long besides I don't want you to pay 30 US dollars to just have something that flimsy so let's just keep it this way this fools just about anybody I know and it's like it's a real shake up for your system right if you want that nostalgic feel especially if you started you know using PCs in the early 2000s you would just feel that uh, you know nostalgia rising up within you so I hope this has helped you if it has I want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button or turn on the notification bell so that when we do show you some nifty tricks that your system can do you'll be the first to get them all right bye take care i love you see you in the next video bye